Hey guys, we're back for round four of our league with Shrapnel Affinity. Uh, we won the die roll again. Awesome. Um, and yeah, looking good so far. Two and one. Hopefully we'll get some booster packs this league. So, let's go first. Hmm. This is a pretty good hand. Um, the only problem is we can't actually cast our two drops. Right. We really need another land. Honestly, I don't know if I can keep this. <sighs> It's got a good payoff. But it's got an insane payoff. Like, if we if we do draw it... If we don't get our land, then we lose to every deck in the format. Uh, if we don't hit it in two draw steps... I would say that's probably about right. And we're on the play, so we, we lose a draw step here. We have 17 lands left in our deck still, and we have Springleaf Drum 2, so that's 19 draws. Uh, we already have one Opal also, yeah, no, I was doing the math without Opal's. Because Opal's a dead draw, too. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Opal's not a dead draw. Opal's a live draw. Opal's a pedal. Yeah, because we animate the Inkwall Nexus. Mm -hmm. And it's better than a pedal because it leaves the other one active because we play a Ravager or something. Uh, yeah, that's fair. It's close, and it's greedy. Yeah. I would I, mulligan, but I wouldn't fault... Once again, I would mulligan, but I wouldn't fault someone for keeping yeah, I think we mull this just because it's it's close. Yeah. I would probably if keep only it. Only Ink Moth Nexus was a Dark Steel Citadel. Okay, okay this, this is this hand is much better. This hand's insane. Yeah, like legitimately just nuts. Uh, oh, what is? It? Don't think we want a Mox Pedal. Uh, I think we might. So on turn one, we play out our pest. On turn two... Is that better than the worker? I guess we want to play the worker. Actually, we play the worker on turn one. Actually, no. I think it is Pest just because we don't want to, like... Yeah, we want worker to be in play when there's another artifact around so that we don't get the whole thing blown up with one removal spell. Yeah. Uh, I, I would put that opal on the bottom of our deck. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out if we could dump our entire hand on turn two. Mm -hmm. uh... Which we can't. Because we're down, or because this opal is yeah, active. Yeah, we could put everything into play except for the pest. Yeah. So I, yeah, I think this does go to the bottom yeah, here. I don't think that's worth. If we draw a land, we would be able to though. Or at least it would like well, keep it in play. Yeah, because the opal is the same as a land there, mm -hmm. but like work slightly worse. Beautiful. Oh, another Merfolk matchup. That's what I'd like to see. Or it's taxes. I think that's still fine, right? Uh, game one is still fine. Yeah, they get Kotakis and stuff. Yeah. All right. Nice to draw a land. Oh, if we draw a land, this game ends. Yeah. Like we drew, we drew double cranial plating. This game's over if we like can play and equip both of them. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not gonna send a message to them. <laughs> yeah. To with the signal pass, because that's how we lose to. Actually, we can't even get Harbinger in the Tides. I should have done it. If Aether Vial, you could, like, flash in... I can't even think of anything. An Ornithopter and Block. <laughs> uh, so, the interesting question I've tried to figure out is... Whoa. This is interesting. Is he going to bash? Okay. All right. You got me. Race. You got me, guys. Race on. Excellent. So Perfect game. draw. How oh, much better than him at this game? Uh, this hand does Pest. actually seem like a legit greedy keep, though. Oh, uh, his hand? Yeah. Uh, it all depends on like how good his curve is with Bile, I think. But I somewhat agree yeah, with you. Like it. Yeah. Crack. That's Take disgusting. 11. Yeah, it is. Uh, so oh, he has no one drop. Yeah, that is pretty greedy. Like, I think that's fine. If, even if your opponent's Jun, like, they have Abrupt Decay, man. Oh. That's oh, God. Well, yeah. Uh, so he could have Rejury here. Oh, uh, you mean Harbinger? Rejury, uh, Harbinger, yeah. I think that's fine, yeah. because we just have another Cranial Plating. Yeah, I think we put the Plating on the other Vault Scourge. Yep. And have our Vault Scourge Signal Pest. And then attack with our two flying creatures. And then this becomes a two and trades off. 
and then at that point he's just too far behind. Like I don't I don't know how he races. Uh, yeah, that's good. Just... All right. Yeah. So All right, so we have two more minutes to talk about this discussion. Right, the whip flare versus uh Hanger back walker. Hanger back steel versus steel overseer. Okay. Uh, I think I do actually like our configuration. Actually, the way we did it. We're on the draw. We didn't board out a land last game. We did not. No, that was an affinity. That was what we did against affinity, but we didn't do that against Merfolk. Yeah, I definitely like it. I like putting the hang. Actually, I like boarding in an etch champion and cutting a mountain. Uh, we're cutting a mountain because we're down on a red spell too. Okay. I think the mountain's the right cut there. So the article that Frank wrote said against every single not path to exile deck, you cut your basic. Okay. Because this is on the stock 17 land version. Right. Uh, yeah, because we are up to 18 lands instead of the 17, which is more than most uh, um, yeah. most lands have. But that's because we've got drums, or less drums than normal. Yeah. Since drums but so, is not nearly as good without midnights in your deck. For sure. Like, I noticed uh, that when I was testing it last week, it just, it felt, like, the drums just felt worse if I didn't draw Ornithopter. Right. Uh, but so, you cut your Glimmer Void when you're not boarding in colored spells, which we are. Mm -hmm. You cut your Mountain when you're uh, not against Path to Exile decks. Okay. Because, er, or Ghost Quarter decks. Right. And since we're up a Mountain... It's possible that he has Ghost Quarter. Like, I've definitely played against Merfolk decks that do, but I'm not going to assume that he has it. Okay. Uh, you cut Blink Moth against decks that go longer, which is weird to me. Really? Uh, I that is. You're, you're never going to cut your Citadels because they're your best land. Right. For your most explosive draws. Okay. But yeah, I, uh, I would think that the Man Lands are very good against decks that go long because they give you, uh, like... They, more your resiliency. lands are spells, basically. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I would just keep cutting basics against the decks that go long. Uh, the problem is, or like, <clears throat> against. I guess it those was like decks. Axan or something. We got like lingering souls and stuff, so the yeah. man lands pretty bad. Uh, they also they have path, so you need the mountain. Right. And you're usually boarding in like counter spells against them, so you can't really afford to cut the glimmer void either. Sure. So that just leaves. Your you choices are then between Blink Moth and Ink Moth. And Ink Moth is better against those decks. Yeah, Ink Moth is... Well, maybe not, actually. I think Blink Moth is better against Lingering Souls. In that matchup, I think you cut the Ink Moth. Uh, I think against a deck like Jund, I'd rather cut Blink Moth. Sure. Uh, uh, against Jund... Against Jund, I would probably cut a mountain. Yeah, I don't know what. <coughs> Jess guy. That's what Jess I was thinking. Okay, sure. Okay, but on um, to Merfolk, game two. Um, how do you feel about this hand? That, I think we lose to Hercules Recall, but I think we beat everything else. I think there's a lot of draws that lose to Hercules Recall, though. So yeah. So I'm at peace with that, I think. Because we play two Vault Scourges on turn one. Mm hmm. And then we? we have Edge Champion on two to hold off the ground while we chip in. Oh, yeah, we sure do. Yep, yep. With Mox Lotus. Yeah, this hand's great. And he also kept on seven, which means he might just have a normal Merfolk draw. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's easier to figure out whether or not they have the giant hate spell in real life than in uh, Moto. A Moto, because we don't get to like look into his eyes and get the. Uh, the cold the on him. Yeah. Citadel is honestly a not great draw there. So we could have played the Citadel and played both Opals and cast turn one edge champion. He showed us Mutavault, though. That's true. That's <laughs> yeah. like the one Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Never mind. <laughs> that's the one time that's actually bad. Uh I I don't know what he's keeping though against us. Like, he showed his Mutavault in game one. play a Vial. There's actually a pretty good chance that he does have a Hercules then, actually. Yeah. He's trouble. He's at 15 already. Uh, well, not quite. He does have Curse Catchers. Yeah, but we have definitely enough mana to do that. Yeah, if, if we play around it. 
which we probably can. So if he goes for the Muta Vault, do we shrapnel it? Maybe that was better. I definitely like just playing out the champion because it means No no no, he... I mean I mean if he if we he activates the Muta oh, Vault yeah, yeah. to block our Etch champion. Yeah. I mean, now we just show him what's up. Basically. Another Ornithopter. Powerful draws here on our side. Yep. Uh, I do think you're right, though. If he goes for it... Uh, if he goes for the Muta Vault block, we Shrapnel Blast it. Uh, I, I guess it depends on the circumstances. Like, when his life total was at that turn. Uh, if that was going to be what he did, then that would be good. But not yeah. so sure at this point. It might be better just to use it on his face. He has up a potentially M explosive turn here. Is if it he M15 had... Shrapnel Blast? Yeah. Oh, mirrored in Shrapnel Blast. Come on. I'm lazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the first thing at the bot I went to. Sure. My real life ones are mirrored in. They're not promo because I hate playing with foils, but. Yeah. Is this. Spreading seas. Uh, so one thing that we can do is turn it into I, a dude and then blow it up. Yeah, I think that's definitely correct here. And I okay. think we do it on the uh, Mero Regery. Cuts off things he can do this turn. Sure. Because he actually... So if we point it at his face, it puts him to nine. Yep. And it means <clears throat> he can't actually play two spells off this either because he's down a... Or he's down a blue source. So he can't, like, play out Silver Gill other, other than Curse Catcher. Right. Which I don't think we care about. And I don't think he's got. I mean, I suppose he possibly might have it. But, yeah, okay. once again, we don't care about it because all of our creatures have evasion at this point. Yeah. Uh, I think we definitely... I think we pointed at his face. Okay. I think that there's definitely uh, arguments for both, and it's really close. Yeah, I feel like that's all Affinity is, is just yeah, a, a bunch, bunch of, of really language. close decisions. <laughs> yeah, Affinity is great for that, honestly. In a format like Modern, having a bunch of micro decisions is really nice, refreshing. Uh, it also means that he might make a mistake and not leave up uh, Univault to block. Right. Well, he sent us a message. We'll look at that later. Yeah. Don't feel like dealing with his salt. For now. Solid draw. Uh, Just two? Yeah. Well, he's right, asserted he's, 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 he's made it clear. <laughs> that he doesn't have Hercules recall. And then I think this is... All right, so he's definitely got a lot of lands over there. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> he can start, okay, doing stuff like this. We're giving him more draws to recall because we're just bricking here. What? Wait, what? That feels like a misclick. How is that not Ornithopter or his land? What's going on? He might have baited us. He might have wanted to untap that and see if we'd block. It's possible. Hey, flying creature. Very welcome here. It doesn't speed up our clock that much, though. He's really set on us not attacking him. Hey, don't like, worry, not... dude. We see it. We're not going to attack. He's not. You don't he need didn't activate. even leave a vapor snag there. But I yeah, that nexus cool. is great um, because of recall, actually, too. Yeah. Although recall is just ugh, right now, <laughs> that gets every single oh. one of our permanents. It doesn't kill us though. Uh, we are at twenty-four life. That's a lot of life. Master of waves. Okay. Oh no, he still gets to gun. Please tap our Vault Scourge again. What, why are you tapping my Opal? Oh wait, is he dead? 
Yes. If, if he, he doesn't, doesn't have, have a land, land, then he dies. Okay, then. He's just been asserting his dominance over us this entire match. Let's be real. He's been asserting something. Yeah, no, he's clearly just tilted, I think. Like that I mean, yeah, after that shrapnel blast. Yeah. Because uh, if that's two, four, six, eight, twelve, I guess we're not even dead to that still. Yeah. I think he's just like upset about the poor matchup. All right. Yeah. But yeah, we got a nice easy 2 0.